Shalom, 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 Israel. Shalom. It's Leah, Yehuda, Israel, your little big sister, um, believed to be from the tribe of Judah, Yehuda. I want to first give all praise, honor, and thanks and glory to the Most High, Yah. Uh, Yah is the creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all in them is the Most High, Yah, created. So good evening, Israel. Um, it's Leah, your little big sister. I could not sleep last tonight. I'm trying to go to sleep, but someone is on my mind. I don't know who. Um, the Most High Spirit has been on me since this morning. I left the courthouse, and I was vexed by that heathen. Uh, but I've since calmed down, and I, you know, I have understanding that every word of the Most High Yah is true. Everything Yah said is true. So again, I want to give all praises, honor, and thanks and glory to the Most High Yah. And I just want to thank Yah. Um, it's here's outside here. I want to thank Yah. I thank Yah for His goodness, and I thank Yah for His mercy, um, which endures forever. And I'm asking the Most High Yah to bless each of you and your families as well as mine, and I'm asking, this video is in hopes that someone will open their eyes and change their mind about the way they're living their lives. You have, you got to turn around. We've been going the wrong way. JC is not the Most High. It's not the Most High Son. You are the Most High Son. The Most High says that Israel is my son. He's even my firstborn son. So um, what you need to do is search these scriptures like we have searched um, this is out. You hear Israelites speaking. Let's see. Amos 3, 7. Turn to that. It says, Surely Yah Elohim will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Uh, yes, there are servants in the earth today, prophets, and we come to you in the name of what thus saith Yah. We don't tell you about what the New Testament says. Peter, Paul, J-E-S-U-S, -S, Matthew, John. We don't care what they said. They have nothing to do with the Most High. They have nothing to do with Israel, your salvation. Your information, your knowledge is in the Old Testament, the Torah, first five books, and the Tanakh. Those are um, the books that we need, we carry, and um, we receive the word. So I want you to know right now, this is about swine. But first, before I tell you about swine, I'm going to talk to you about the love the Most High has for you. Now, please turn your um, scriptures real quick here to Jeremiah 31, 3, and it reads, Yah hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. The Most High loves you, Israel. Um, you have to return back to the Most High. He will forgive you of all of your sins, uh, iniquities. He'll forgive you. Um, stop doing it. Stop eating swine. Stop calling on the idol gods around about you in this world. Um, stop eating shrimp, um, crabs, tilapia, catfish. That's unclean food. It's not good for you. Deuteronomy 14, the Most High said that you are a holy people unto the Most High. So the Most High loves us, um, Israel. He loves us so much. Um, he tells us again right here in Isaiah 45, 17. And we are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, but Israel shall be saved in Yah with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Your world will never end, um, Israel. The Most High loves you so much that your world will not end. Um, as far as the skies are scratched out, um, the Most High loves you. The Most High loves Israel, and he chose Israel. Okay, so let's just read that one more time here about the love he has for us. But Israel shall be saved in Yah with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. For thus saith Yah that created the heavens, Elohim himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yah, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Jacob, seek me in vain. I, Yah, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. All praises to the Most High Yah. The Most High Yah is righteous. So that's why it's very important that you do not consume swine okay um swine right now is what i really want to talk about um swine is a snare to you it's an abomination 
um, before the Most High Yah. I know we say that we uh, we love our pork chops more than anything, but you might want to consider saying those words from out of your mouth because um, you're going to be held accountable for those things that you speak. Okay, it's not good to say that you love pork chop over everything. That's that's very ignorant of you. Um, that's ignorant. You, you can't say things like that and expect to be blessed. That's why you're under a curse. And you're not blessed. Uh, you're cursed. But in order to get a blessing from Yah, the Creator, you must not eat swine. You cannot consume it. More or less consume it. You can't even touch it. The Most High tells you that. So we're just going to read about the swine here. And what it says, how important it is, the Most High is serious about the swine. And the swine, Leviticus eleven seven. and the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not good, he is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in the way not good after their own thoughts. Proverbs 11.22, as a jewel of gold in a swine snout, so is a fair woman, which is without discretion. But I want swine that's not to eat it. Here it is, 14, 1 to 29 here. The children of Israel, okay, that's not it. Uh, I thought I was going to get more more um, scriptures on the swine, but Israel, please put up your swine. Please stop eating pork chop and sound the ignorant. Please stop saying you love pork chops so much. And I was talking to a brother, and he said, well, I'm not going to never stop putting down my pork chops. And girl, the doctor not told me that, so what you saying ain't going to do nothing. Okay, so I just felt bad that I know he just cursed himself. So um, he made it very clear, and I'm not hounding nobody. Deuteronomy 14, a says, And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet chew if not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Um, this is a snare, and this is sin, and this is an abomination into the house of Jacob, the house of Israel. We cannot eat swine. Um, I used to do that. My husband was Cuban, and we would roast the pig, a baby pig, and eat it and all of that stuff. But that was sin. We were ignorant. Um, we didn't understand the law. We didn't know the law. We didn't live the law. But as we begin to wake up, as um, I begin to wake and say, I'm not doing this anymore, eventually my husband joined on and he eventually stopped eating swine also. And um, that's an abomination to the Most High. He is not pleased when we do that. And let me tell you how serious it is um, about um, the Most High is about the swine and how he does not want Israel to eat and touch the swine because it's an abomination. And everything in your country where you live here, and the daughter of Babylon, everything um, is all about swine. It's pork chop on sale. You have your ham coming up for your um, pagan holiday. And um, you have your Christmas holiday coming up with all your swine products. And the Most High is not pleased with that. And he will destroy you. Um, if you're wondering why you're possibly losing loved ones, friends, family members, just look into the history of their lives. Um, are they serving a night of God? They're wearing jewelry with crosses all connected around them. Um, their parents praying to them in the name of the idol. The Most High is furious, and he is um, furious with um, the house of Israel. And it says here, this is just how serious it is right here about that swine. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 66. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith Yah. Let's take it back here a little bit further to 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make. So there will be a new heaven and the earth, new earth. Yah just said he will make it. Shall remain before me, saith Yah. So shall your seed and your name remain. So you will always be named and remain Israel. No matter what they try to do, say you are African American. Say you are a Jamaican, a Haitian, an Afro, anything. Yah said, so shall your seed and your name remain. You're going to remain to be Israel. That's who you are. Take your name back. Go to your throne. Take it back. Take, teach your inheritance. Get under the covenant of the Most High. You can repent. You can cry. You can ask for forgiveness. It's okay. Yah loves you. But he will destroy you if you will not obey him. He, this is serious business here. This is more serious than the dollar bill you make. And this is more serious than your job, um, your mom, your, your husband. This is more serious than anything. This is about your soul. 
And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith Yah. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. And they shall be an abhorring to all flesh. This is how serious the Most High is with you um, about eating swine. Okay, you're not to eat swine. You're not to let alone eat it. You're not even to touch it. This is an abomination. You are a holy people unto Yah. You have to clear your mind. You have to get somewhere and think. You have to repent unto Yah. You don't need to be around a bunch of people. You need to be set apart. Off to yourself for a little while so you can understand this. And the Most High can talk to you and you can hear what these scriptures and these words are saying to you, okay? And now let's go into the waters of the sea that Yah created, okay? Let's see what Yah says about the sea. Leviticus 11. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, all that move in the waters... And of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So you cannot eat shrimp. You cannot eat crabs. You cannot eat bottom feeders. Look at there. Those are bottom feeders. The Most High said that you cannot eat them, Israel. We cannot eat bottom feeders. Okay, that's sin. So I don't know why it's not brightening up, but that's sin against the Most High. Uh, we are not to eat tilapia. You're not to eat catfish, shrimp. Uh, mussels, oysters. You're not to eat those things. Those things are bottom feeders. I ate it all. I used to love me some garlic shrimp and butter and stir fried down with some onions, pepper like I'm doing something. I wasn't doing nothing but sinning against the most high. And now you wondering why you got high blood pressure, Leah. Why your blood pressure so high you getting insulin, you shooting yourself with a needle. You all on that pork chop and praying to that idol. You can't understand why you in this cobweb of a mess. And that's what it is. You're confounded. You're mad. It's madness, you know. You know, your, your sugar diabetes is high. My blood pressure was high. I'm all fat, out of shape. Don't know what's going on. But I wasn't keeping the law, you know. I mean, unclean food. And I just want you to know here that the Most High, um, He sets a difference in the clean and the unclean. The di he sets a difference in the clean and the unclean. And um, this this country that you live in, it's very unclean. Some of these meats are banned in other countries. They, they don't even allow these meats to go into their countries. So you over here eating it like you're doing something by eating an old dirty-ass pig that eats anything, poop, dead people, whatever. This pig going to eat it. Okay, so let's go here and let's talk about the clean and the unclean. Let's see. Leviticus 20, 25. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beast and unclean, between unfiled clean, fowls and clean, and ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which have which I have separated from you as unclean. So that's even telling me about a chicken, Leah, see? Ye shall therefore put differences between clean beast and unclean, and, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you. So I think this is saying right here, right here, that we can't even eat chicken, which I have separated from you, or any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground. Does a chicken creepeth on the ground and eat bugs and what have you? It doesn't divide us. Uh, we have to do some more extensive research into this, but it's, look like, it's looking like that we're not even to eat chicken. And I know um, uh, Brother um, Aki uh, Kaziya, he stresses on how unclean the chicken is. And um, so that's what it is. We got to return to this law. Even time, Every time you think you know something, you might not know something that you think you might know. That's why it's good to learn and to continuously search and seek the truth. Uh, truth over lies. I know we don't want to hear the truth. We'd rather make up things in our own mind and say it's this way and that way when it's just what the Most High said it is. So um, all praises and honor and glory to the Most High Yah for, for showing us and directing us into truth and righteousness.
Okay, and this is Leviticus 10.10. 10. And you know, it happens over, it doesn't happen overnight, it's a process. And that you may put difference between holy and unholy and between clean and unclean and clean. So this Bible here says you must distinguish between the holy and the common and the clean and the unclean. It's all saying about the clean and the unclean. And it's letting you know that pork swine is not clean. And when the most high come and if you're eating swine, you're going to be punished forever. Your soul is going to be burning. I mean, your worm, that's your worm is your body. The most high warned us. And that's why I could not sleep until I did a video on this pork. People bragging about their pork chop, but I don't even think you know who the most high is when you're bragging about you love your pork chop more than anything. No, we are to fear the creator. He is to be feared and his wrath and his indignation is to be feared. We are to fear Yah and keep his law, statutes and commandments and to do them. He is not to be late, taken lightly like a joke or something. The most high is to be feared. And I ask him to keep me hope, keep me humble before himself and before his people to know that there's always room for growth and to learn because you don't know everything. I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I want to know a lot of things. I, I sit back and I wonder and I think, and I can't say I don't, but I don't want to know everything, but I want to know some things. I want to know how I could get better at keeping the Most High's law. Um, because it works for me. It's good for my life and my child's life. I mean, we got a ways to go, but we've come a long ways. I mean, we, I used to be at a place where they were giving out free pork chops and I would bring them home and cook them and have me some crabs and shrimp down in Florida with my children. I would do things like that. And for my dad would put, uh, put, put pork ribs on the grill and everybody would bring them by for him to cook. I did that. So, you know, I can only talk about the things that I've been through and the things that I've done. And I don't do those things anymore. I return to the covenant of the Most High Yah, and I keep his law, statutes, and commandments the best I can. I'm working on it. And my weight has changed. My health has improved. I don't have diabetes anymore. I don't have high blood pressure like that anymore. I don't serve an idol God anymore. I don't eat pork anymore and crabs and those things. So we give all praises and all honor and all glory to the Most High Yah. But let's see what happens when we eat the pork and the crabs, um, and the unclean food. Let's see what the Most High said would happen to you if we did these things, if we would not obey him, that these curses would come on us. And if you want more understanding, please turn to Deuteronomy 28 and read about your history. Start at verse 15 through 68 and read about all the curses, and maybe they'll line up in your life, and you'll be able to get a little understanding like I have about my life. But let's start there at uh, Deuteronomy 28, and let's start at verse 15. I take you to 14 first, because 14 or 13 on up is talking about the blessings. So let's see. And this shall not, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yah, thy Elohim, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake thee. Curse shall you be in the city, curse shall you be in the field. And you can read all of that. There are all these curses. See? This is what we're going through today. See? All these curses. The heaven that is over your head shall be brass. You see them spraying the heavens up there and all kind of stuff coming from up there and all kind of chemicals, chemical trails. It's right here. See? Chemical trails. Yah shall make the rain of thy land powder, and the dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thy be destroyed. You're going to get sick um, from the atmosphere up top. You're going to get sick. Um, Yah shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shall be removed into, the, into all the kingdoms of the earth. And we are spread it everywhere. Israel is over the four corners of the earth. Everyone is black is not a Hebrew Israelite. No, they're not. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. A lot of our fathers and mothers, they went hung on trees, and they stayed there all night, their bodies. I mean, that's what they did to them. That's what the heathen did. And again, it was the most high because we would not keep his law, statutes, and commandments. So we cannot blame the most most high for, um, we cannot blame the heathen because that's the tool and instrument of people that the most high used to punish us. 
And the way you have out here, and everybody has to do it the same way, you have to cry out and call on the Most High. He said, every knee going to bow down to the Most High. Every knee going to bow down to Yah. Every knee going to bow down to Yah. You want to get free, you won't have to bow down to Yah. Yah will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thy canst be healed. All these diseases around here, HIV and all kind of stuff, making people itch and this and that there, all in your vagina, all around your penis, all kind of stuff y'all doing. Y'all don't play. And thou shalt be thrall a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Um, okay, so the slave women, he wanted that woman. He told her to come on in here, even though she had a husband. How, how, low, and, how low and wicked. Come on in here. I want your wife. I'm going to sleep with her tonight. This she going to be my woman tonight, my bitch, or whatever they would call her, uh, my wench. And she would go sleep with Massa and look down on her husband after a while. Like, he really loved her and this and that there because he always wanted to sleep with her and making her husband feel less than a man because he can't do anything um, because he has this evil man, uh, Massa, over her, and there's nothing that he can do. So these are the curses. Um, this is the punishment from the Most High for us not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And this is where we are. And another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. We build all these houses around the United States of America and around these countries. And you see our brethren getting up to go to work. They build these places then, and they live in apartments and projects. But we're building it for the man so he could sell the house and make him a profit. You know, so, but all that's coming to an end, praise Yah. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Yeah, you plant it. Um, your fathers and mothers, we they planted vineyards for master, for the man, um, all through Egypt, all through right now. Um, even up until today, we're working for these people and doing these things, but we yet we have nothing. So why don't you just pick up your book and read the curses and you can identify. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. So you mad about a lot of things that you see, like George Floyd and... Um, Jacob getting shot seven times, and this one getting shot six times. You shall be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. So you mad, but ain't nothing you could do about it. But say you gonna march, and you gonna march on, and you want justice and all of this and that. No, nah, they ain't gonna help you, so you can keep on voting. You can keep on marching, and y'all can keep on looking stupid out there. But um, this message is for the remnant also. Just stay with the Most High. It's in hopes to wake somebody up. Um, but um, shout out to the uh, to the remnant. All praise is honor and glory, whoever you are um, that um, that are waiting on the Most High and meditating in Him. May Yah bless you and make Yah keep you and um, keep you and yours in this these hours that we're going through. Um, and if you scroll down on my video on my YouTube, I have some videos from last year where the Most High would have me get out of my bed and put the Spirit up on me and show me a couple of scriptures and. Um, take me to Ezekiel six, seven, eight, nine, so on, and um, it's coming to pass actually. Um, the, huh, those videos that was the Most High Spirit, just like right now, um, telling you to wake up and here's your history right here. Thou shalt be God's sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Um, um, all the the trees and the fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Um, he shall lend to thee. And thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all of these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yah, thy Elohim, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And that's what the Most High said. Our praises, honor, and glory are to Yah. And that's just what the Most High meant. Mm hmm. And he said. Um, therefore, I will punish you. Um, he's going to punish you, Israel, because it's you that he has loved out of all the nations and all the people of the earth. So that's why you're catching hell like here. This is your answer right here when people want to know, what's going on, child? Well, Amos 3, 3, 2 says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All praises is to Yah. Are to Yah the Most High's judgment is righteous, okay, and it is holy, and He is worthy to be praised. And I just brought these here, and I just want to bring it again to you about the swine. Um, you cannot go around bragging about eating swine. The Most High will destroy you. 
You can't even be sitting up playing about you love your pork chops. That is wickedness, okay? Um, 11.7, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Um, you cannot eat swine. That's a law by the Most High. Um, please don't come in here telling me you're going to do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I don't care. What, I mean, I pray that you obey the Most High, but if you're not, that's that's on you. And you got to answer to the Most High. I didn't write this law. Um, I don't have anywhere to send nobody to and burn them up or anything. Um, but all I can say is mercy is given from the Most High. Mercy and grace, all of that is given from Yah. Isaiah 64, 65, 4, real quick. Which remain among the graves and lodge and the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels. Wow. In our vessels, uh, we're putting um, crabs, shrimp, calling it good, red lobster, all those abominable foods. I am so ready, y'all. Please take me far away from this place and deliver my children, y'all. Sister Ada, y'all. We want to go. We want to go home, y'all. Wherever home is, we want to head towards our home, y'all. But we're ready to go into the wilderness, and we don't want to be here anymore, y'all. And to those who want to be here, you know, I ask you to be with them, y'all, um, and have your way if it's thy will, y'all. But as for me and mine, y'all, I'm asking you to deliver us. I'm, I'm humbly asking you, y'all. I am so tired. I could not rest because I was thinking about the family, the Israelites out there who are um, sitting down now to a swine dinner or crabs and shrimp. And I said, I got to tell these people. I, Elder Ezra said, sister, you got to tell them. So I, it didn't rest on me um, to go to sleep until I put this video together. I've had a hectic day today, and it started out this morning at that courthouse. And I did a video previous to that, like Monday, but y'all yeah, didn't want it to come out. Uh, because this here one I did this morning, it was like more powerful because that I was vexed in my spirit. And when I'm vexed in my spirit, that's, that's just what it is and how it is. I'm a little calm right now, but I care about my Israelite family and I love you all. No matter what you think of me, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm just a servant of Yah and I'm just doing the will of my father and I just want to go home and rest. I want to go to the beach. Um, that's the home I'm looking forward to. And I just want to think, rethink, rethink myself on the things that I did over here in wickedness and, and cry out for my children and my grandchildren that they will be delivered as well. And that they will give their whole hearts to the creator who loves them and who loves you. Israel, the most I love you so much. Stop watching television. Stop watching the news. Pray. You need more prayer time, alone time, so you can hear from the mighty eye. Sometimes you may have to um, cut people out of your life and you have to wind down and have peace. Meditation um, is very important, Israel. Um, and I just want you to know... Um, a sacrifice, a contrite spirit, is one thing that the Most High said that he will not despise. Look, this is this is what I know. The sacrifices of Elohim are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O El, O Yah, El, thou will not despise. So, you know, when you cry and you break down to the Most High and your spirit, you know, you're going through it. Most High is so merciful and loving. He said that he will not despise it. Um, oh, David said, oh, yeah, you will not despise, you know. You'll take this into consideration, my broken heart, my contrite spirit, and you will have mercy on me. Please, oh, yeah. Please, yeah. Um, and it says in Psalms 34, 18 right here, Yah is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. And then the sacrifice is right here. So people just study asking me about a sacrifice, and here's your answers right here, man. Just study. The sacrifices of Yah, Elohim, are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O El, thou will not despise. For thus saith Yah, for thus, for thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and a humble spirit. 
to revive the spirit of the humble, to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Oh, thank you, Yah. I needed to hear that, Yah. Isaiah 66, 2. For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been made, saith Yah. But to this man I will look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. And um, that's why I am. All praises to Yah. I mean, I tremble for real at the word of Yah because I know Yah personally. I know how He now moved me, and I know heard His voice. And He said, "Go from Florida on up." He said, "Stop, I stop." He said, "Stay here, I stay." I obeyed the Most High all the way up here. That's all I know. Yah is real, and I'm gonna continue to to uh, obey the Most High up out of this captivity and. Anybody else who just want to do, you know, everybody got their own calling. I ain't down to nobody. Everybody got their own calling. We all different. But, um, and may the Most High bless you on your journey, whichever way Yah leads you. And don't be afraid, Israel. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It takes courage and strength to walk with Yah. And it's okay. One day this thing is going to be passed. It's going to be desolate. Nobody's going to be able to live here, just like Sodom and Gomorrah. We're going to add this place to the list. So don't be afraid, sons and daughters of Yah. Don't be afraid to leave your captivity. Don't be afraid. Just follow the directions of the Creator. That's all. And He will direct you unless you don't want to be directed by Yah. But He will direct you and He will show you the way. So call on the mighty Yah. Break down and you cry and you get it all out. Whatever issues you have, you lay it on your ground right there on the altar in your room and you cry out to the Creator. You don't need a moray. You don't need a rabbi. You don't need a bishop. You don't need a pastor. You don't need me, your mama, my mama. You in the Most High, bow down on your, on your face right there and cry out to the Creator and ask Him to direct your path and to show you. But you got to put your pride aside, Israel. You got to put your pride aside, Israel. You got to humble down to the Most High. He already said that every knee going to bow down to him. We get out, out of our beds and we, we pray to the Most High 4 o'clock sometimes, 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes, 1 o'clock if we want to. And we cry out to the Creator and we pray to the Most High. And it's a sacrifice and we tell him how much we love him. And we ask him to heal the Israelites, our, our families and your families um, Sister Ada, I thank the mighty Yah for, for you, sister, um, that's on that spirit that loves to pray. I love to pray to Yah. We love to pray. We can pray anytime. If something is bothering us, we cry out to the mighty Yah. And Sister Ada, I may read a scripture. And then I get powerful all during the day. I feel good and strong. She feel good. We good things start to happen to us. And the Most High answer our prayers. And he be telling us this and which way we're going to do it like that. And we got to wait. And that's what we do. We, we obey the Most High. The Most High is real. And if he's not real to you, maybe it's because you're not doing something right. Or maybe you need to listen a little bit more. Or 